video i would like to tell about the remaining useful life assessment for lithium ion batteries using cnn lstm dnn hybrid method now we are going to see about the overview of our process the prediction of a lithium ion battery's lifetime is very important for ensuring safety and reliability in addition it is utilized as an early warning system to prevent the battery's failure reason advance in machine learning that is ml is an enabler for new data driven estimation approaches the main objective of our project is to detect or classify effectively the remaining useful life for lithium ion batteries then we have to uh, implement the deep learning methods that hybrid the deep learning methods then we have to enhance the overall performance for hybrid method in this paper we suggest a hybrid method named the cnn and lstm which is the combination of convolutional neural network and long short term memory for the estimation of the battery's remaining useful life and also improving prediction accuracy with acceptable execution time Uh, finally the experimental result shows that some performance metrics based on the hybrid methods such as mean squared error that is msc mean absolute error that is mae r squared and r msc root mean squared error so this is the final result for predicting the remaining useful lives now we are going to see about the flow of our process first we have to take the data set the data set name is calci data set that is the lithium batteries data set in this data set we have to choose four battery names such as ch233 34 36 and 37 these four batteries and that is these four data sets only we have to perform uh, these uh, data set in the form of extension is dot csv that is comma separated value then we have to implement the pre processing step in this step means we have to remove the unwanted data or unnecessary noise regarding our input data sets so in this step we have to perform handling missing values and drop unwanted columns the handling missing values means we have to check any missing values is present in our input data set is it is uh, it is missing value is present we have to replace the missing values by zeros or nan values uh, if there is no missing values just uh, move on the next step then we have to drop unwanted columns this means we have to drop the unwanted columns that is it is not required for our process so that's why we have to drop the unwanted or unnecessary columns then we have to move on the implement the data splitting data splitting is the act of splitting our pre processed data into test and train uh, the test part is used for evaluate predict the model and train part is used for evaluate the model data splitting is based on uh, splitting is a uh, ratio so we have to smaller portion only in test part and most of the portion have train part for example we have to split 30% on 70 ratio based 30 is to 70 means 30 is test and remaining 70 is train part then we have then finally we have to implement the classification algorithm in this part we have to implement deep learning algorithms that is cnn and lstm we have to hybrid or combine the these two deep learning algorithms after that uh, with the help of a classification algorithm we have to find the performance metrics such as msc or msc mae and r squared added so this is the flow of our process now we are going to see about the demo part that is the output part just i have to run our process uh, we are running our process in anagonda navigator the anagonda navigator is the one of the platform and this is the spider ide just we have to choose one uh, one ide from anagonda navigator here we are using the spider ide for running our process Uh, after running our process uh, i will explain the output part
with the help of F5 we have to run our process. Uh, here in the this is the console part our output will be displayed in this console part only and this is the variable explorer after running our process uh, variables will be stored in this part here our process is on is on running so this is the data selection the data selection means uh, this is our sample 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 data set sample data from our input data set then this is the checking missing values checking missing values this is the pre-processing step here there is a zero uh, here zero means there is a no missing values in particular attributes so these are the attribute which pre in which present in our data set uh, this is after dropping our uh, columns then we have to implement the LSTM and convolutional network here just it is on the or running on our process uh, uh, this is the performance metrics for mean absolute error mean squared error root mean squared error or squared so this is the value for uh, first data set that is cs32 so this is the validation graph for uh, our first data set then similarly it will not working on our second data sets so sim uh, these are the output parts just it is the running for uh, uh, running the same process for four input data sets and will result generate the separately yeah then it so this is the result for second data set then on the third process similarly it will process for same four input data set that is the data set name is calci data sets it is working on our third data set this is the training uh, this is the training module here we are uh, finding the performance metrics for third data set that is mean absolute error mean squared error root mean squared error or squared then this is for final data set similarly working on the final data set this it is the training period for our input data set yeah this is the output part this is our uh, variable explorer part i already said uh, va variables will be stored so this is the output part for for input data sets thank you